I got the uh, Osmart here uh, LED light bar. Uh, just bought it directly on Amazon here. All right, got some good filling to peel this off here. Very clean. Got the uh, flood beam here. You can see the reflector is a little different on this floor here or this uh, roll here. And then from here on, from here on is a uh, spot beam. So flood beam on the outside, spot beam in the middle. Wow, this thing looks awesome. Pretty heavy. Here's the quality in the end. See here at the port. This side there's not much to it. Okay. The cable on this thing is, is pretty darn thick. And it's all made of uh, silicon here. Very thick cable. Good quality. Put the box out of the way. This is the uh, mounting kit here. You got some uh, pretty basic, typical uh, aluminum mount here. The angle mount or flush mount, I guess you would call this. You got two of those. And you got two rubber pieces in here uh, to go underneath here so you won't scratch your uh, vehicle when you mount them. You got some uh, hex screw and nut and all that stuff to mount them. Uh, so that really, uh, on a quick open box, this is all I can really show you. you got a manual here show you how to quickly uh, use them. So I'm going to do a quick uh, measurement here on the light. Uh, the light itself is, uh, is 31 inch and about a quarter. Uh, I'm not counting the uh, projector or on the end here. But if you count that, let's see if I can measure it correctly. It's less than 32. It's about 31 and 5/8 or 3 quarter, uh, and that's not counting the mounting uh, bracket here. If you go from mounting bracket to mounting bracket, it'll be around 32 and a half, approximately. 32 and 5/8, and the base here are around 34 and a quarter, uh, three inch on the light bar. I really like the way that this light bar is made. It's completely uh, flat on top here. So let's say if you don't want to use the bracket uh, in the end to mount them, there's other way you can try to mount this uh, light bar here. It's flat on both sides, the top and bottom. Uh, the back is kind of oval a little bit here. All right, so I have the light bar here. I don't know if you can see, it's, uh, it's quite dark in here. There's still car running outside. It's around 10 o'clock at night right now. Um, I'm in the back of like a uh, school, I guess, and uh, there's an empty field here. Uh, I'm gonna show you. There's some light, but there's not much. Uh, the sky is not completely dark, but let me go ahead and show you what this light bar can do. Uh, you can see the light bar right now, it's not on, and I'm going to turn it on right now. Uh, you can see there, it's turned on. So let me show you again. Uh, it's kind of aiming down right now, but if I can point it up, I don't know if you can see the difference or not. But uh, that's mainly because the uh, spotlight right in the middle is uh, shining straight down, and you can, you can see some really good hot spot down on the bottom here um, and at a distance in my eye I can see pretty good but in the camera it doesn't show too well I guess let me angle it on this side see if I can turn it a little bit maybe 
Yeah, you can't really tell. Okay, so I fix up the connection here and I'm gonna move the light off of the uh, truck here because right now it's sitting uh, on my bed uh, rail here and it shines straight into the field. But I'm gonna pick it up and probably point into the darker area here to show you. But let's see if I can move it here and show you. Sorry, off camera here. There's the light. If I aim up, you will not see much because the light is pretty pretty bright, but there's a good hot spot right in the middle. So there it is. Here's without the light. Here's with the light. Alright, well, thank you for watching.